Hi, my name is Peter Bremmert. I'm a sculptor who spends most of his time either in my studio in Holland or in the USA. And right now we're in the Czech Republic, we're in Palakov, uh, where there's a studio of Daniak Kilohovsky. And uh, I've been working with Daniak for the last 18 years very successfully in our collaboration. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this commission that uh, we're doing right now. Um, that actually are two bunnies. Pink. This is the girl bunny. For me, is also because it's a color that is fun. It's a fun color. It's vivid. It's alive. It's happy. And this is. Uh, for me, how I create my sculptures, everything is uh, for a reason. So if I choose a color, I have a thought process behind it. If I make the shape, that is a process in itself. Where there's always uh, the combination of idea and emotion. If it was just an idea coming from the head, to me it wouldn't work. It's the emotion that brings life into the sculpture. My dear friend Neil Wilkin from England, who is a master glass blower, is making eyes for the bunnies. And the eyes will really look at you. They will be somewhere between fun and scary. And the idea behind it is that I want these two bunnies to have personality and to look at you. So they're not just lifeless dolls, if you like, they actually have something to say. She's stepping her foot, she's getting a little impatient. So the boy bunny, on the other hand, right here, the boy bunny is chilled out, relaxed, is enjoying staying at the hotel and having a good time. But also, uh, this amethyst is so luscious so responds to the light that it will be a very vivid sculpture, it will be very present to have the shape exactly the way the model is, that you have the model present, that you can actually take a light like that that's been cast this way, completely flat, and that you know exactly where to grind the glass away to go fit and have the shape as I originally intended. So Pat and Doug Perry are dear friends and because I know them, I wanted to bring their character into the bunnies. And first of all, I don't think anybody made a large bunny in glass before. And glass is my medium. So that in itself was quite a, an interesting challenge. So I wanted to have humor into them, not just because they're funny looking bunnies, but because they have personality. Uh, the personality to me is what makes the sculpture.
Oh. <laughs> he is colorblind. Did you know that? No, I did not. He's an artist. He's colorblind. Oh, that's it. Blind in the back.